is Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. I wanted to give a new update. I know that a lot of you have been following along with me about the copyright issue that there was someone who was selling my dragon head dice bag pattern on Etsy. That and it wasn't me. I mean, I am obviously, but this person was was trying to get away with selling my a pattern for my bag too at five cents cheaper. But I reported it to Etsy. What I had initially done was I went to the link of the person who was copying it, and at the very bottom of each um, thing that's listed on Etsy, it says report this item. So that's what I did. I clicked on that and I reported it. And I got really, the, the feedback I got from that was basically they couldn't do anything about it. But I have a lovely subscriber that I didn't know, but now I know is an attorney. And this person gave me a little bit of advice. They said that there's a department of in Etsy called uh, Legal Etsy, or let me see, what does it say here? Etsy Legal is what they call it. And th this person was nice enough to send me a link directly into reporting a copyright infringement to Etsy Legal, which I hadn't done. So I, and I didn't really know that that was the way you were supposed to do it. So thank you so much. This person knows who they are. Thank you so much. That was really where I started getting results. I, so last night I filled out the form and you have to, provide them with pictures of where you have this, any publications that this might be in. And there's lots of warnings all over the place that say copyright, uh, accusing someone of copyright infringement is a very serious thing and you can get in a lot of trouble if you're doing this and it's not real. So I sent them links to my pattern books that I sell the, the bag, dragon head dice bag in, as well as pictures from my Facebook page that go all the way back to 2013 with this pattern in it. And I let them know that you can't see the listings anymore because it's so old, but way back in 2013-ish, maybe even pre-2013, I was selling these bags on eBay. So it wasn't their venue, it was a different venue, but they could, if if they needed to, they could get those, you know, results and see that I have been doing this for a really long time. I did hear back from Etsy Legal, and I'm gonna read, that's why I keep looking down because I have it written down, or I have it right here on my device, and I will post a copy of it too, because I'm really excited they did end up taking down the other listing. Now the people can retort and say, hey, this is, my pattern and blah, blah, blah. So we'll see what happens. So far, I haven't heard anything about it, but it says, Dear Heather, thank you for submitting a report of alleged copyright infringement on May 9th, 2023. In accordance with our intellectual property policy, we removed the reported content based on the information you provided and contacted the affected members. If you submitted a report of a copyright infringement, the sellers you reported have the option to file a DMCA counter notice. Please read our DMCA counter notice policy. If a counter notice is filed, you may want to try working this out with the other party directly or speak with an attorney about this. When we receive a counter notice that contains all of the information required under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act and complies with our policies, Etsy must process it in accordance with our intellectual property policy. Since Etsy is a venue, we're not in a position to make legal determinations on infringement allegations or take sides in these matters. Thank you, Etsy Legal. So I'm really happy so far with that. I'm hoping this doesn't get blown up into a big, huge thing. Hopefully they are just, they cut their losses because I highly doubt if they have proof all the way back pre-2013 that they have been doing this pattern. So thank you for watching. Thank you to everybody who subscribes to me and supports my channel. Thank you for all of you who are watching. 
I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy for all the friendships I've made. I'm happy for this venue. I'm happy for all of you who come out and listen and take your time out of your day to be a part of this channel and a part of all of our fun. So have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.